mice in the rig, but I don't think the cats care. Ramsey. Psst, psst. Why you no do your job? All right, so last night I was, or I guess early this morning, I woke up at, oh, 3 a.m. Uh, let's see. Probably can't see that well in here, but there are mice droppings. So I heard a mouse chewing on something. I don't know if it was under here or somewhere else. But uh, yeah, can't handle that every day, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm going to try something new here. Um, somebody on one of the RV Living Facebook groups said that they use coffee grounds um, in little dishes in different areas of their rig and they say that it keeps the mice away. It must be, oh, I'm assuming just a really strong smell. So I'm going to try that. I do use snap traps, um, you know, with peanut butter. They do work, but, you know, they also... <laughs> go off through the night. So I'm going to try that as well. Just put snap traps around and see if I do still catch mice near the uh, coffee grounds, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. Alright, I got my coffee grounds poured out onto these paper plates, so I'm just going to stick them under certain cupboards that I know these mice are going into, and we'll see what happens. Okay, sorry for the bad lighting, but um, so I've got one of the plates of coffee grounds under where I saw all the most droppings, and a snap trap as well, just in case, so we're going to see what happens. Um, if the snap trap doesn't go off, uh, maybe that's a good thing. It means that the smell of the coffee grounds is too strong for uh, the mice to come by. But yeah, on to the next one. Now the cats are interested. They want to check out what's going on. <laughs> so I've got coffee grounds everywhere in the trailer um, that I know mice like to go to. Um, I just kind of stuck some coffee grounds in a sandwich bag here with it open, so it's definitely a strong smell. I mean, I can smell coffee everywhere in the trailer at the moment, so I'm hoping that the smell is pungent enough to keep the mice away. I should mention that that vent is underneath the fridge, so it's all closed up and sealed up again. Uh, the coffee grounds are in there. Um, you know, that's where the furnace is and the furnace ducts and everything, but it's all sealed up so the cats can't get in there or anything. I just had it open to uh, put the coffee grounds in. And the last bag of coffee grounds goes under the sink in the bathroom. So that's pretty much it for now. I have coffee grounds put in all the places I know the mice like to hang out. Um, definitely worth a try. It's 7.30 at night and I have to get up at 5 a.m. for work. So in a few hours I'll go to bed and I'm going to report back in the morning. And by the way, I should mention too, I honestly know nothing about coffee. I don't even drink it. Um, so I just picked up this rich dark roast thinking that because it was rich and dark maybe it would be stronger and stronger smelling. Um, but yeah, other than that, I honestly know nothing about coffee. Good morning. It is quarter after five in the a.m. Quite early. Just getting up and around, ready to head into work. Um, so I just went ahead and checked both traps. Neither one had anything in them and last night I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear them go off. I didn't hear any mice chewing anything. Um, as you could see it was a very cold night last night so I was actually expecting some activity. Um, you know mice trying to get in and, and get warm. But I didn't hear anything. I uh, didn't see anything. Um, Check the traps and nothing so hopefully the coffee's working. Um, but this has just been one night, so obviously I'm going to give it a few 
a few days or maybe even a week and just keep checking and report back just so I know for sure if this is something that's actually working. Hey guys, so it's officially been I believe a week since I put the coffee grounds um, in various places in the camper. I think um, I had started that on Saturday December 8th and it's now Friday December Oh, where are we? 14th. Yeah. So, yeah, been a week and each night I, you know, keep my ears open trying to listen to see if I can hear any activity and I don't. I check the traps daily, haven't had anything in them at all. So the snap traps have peanut butter in them, but no mice. Um, so I don't know if it's coincidence or if this is actually working. So I'm going to continue doing this um, just because so far, I mean, hopefully it's safe to say that it has been working. Um, but I am going to maybe every two or three weeks switch out the coffee grounds and just, you know, make sure I'm putting some fresh stuff down so that it has that strong um, odor to it. And I mean, out of this can, I really only used about, it's hard to tell from here, but I used about maybe a little over a quarter of this can. This can was like $4, so if I need to go through a can of coffee every two, three months, um, $4 a can, that's really not a big deal. And it's worth it if it keeps the mice away. And, you know, also this way too, um, since the mice haven't really even been in, they haven't been you know, getting killed also in the snap trap. So that's been, that's been good too. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video up because this is something that has worked for me. And if anything changes, obviously I'll, I'll make a video about it, but I think I'm going to stick with the coffee grounds so far. Um, like I said, I've just only ever really heard of the one person doing it and it said it worked for them for like 10 or 15 years in their camper so I thought I'd give it a try and it's been working for me also so hopefully this helps somebody else.